Oleme tänasel aktusele palunud esinema ka majandusteaduskonna vilistlase ja Telia Eesti finantsdirektori Eliis Pikmetsa. Palun! Onetin, rector, professors, dear graduates, your friends and families. Thank you for inviting me to speak today. I'm very pleased to be here to join you in celebrating this wonderful occasion. First of all, congratulations to all of you for graduating from Taltec University. Well done. I'm especially emphasizing the name of university because even the fact that I'm standing here and giving a speech at the graduation ceremony of an Estonian university in English speaks of itself. The reputation and quality of Taltec is cultivated far beyond the borders of our small Estonia. And many young people from abroad choose our Taltec to continue their studies here. That's wonderful. And uh, in Estonia, we have been looking for this Estonian Nokia for years. And at the same time, have constantly received recognition from wide world for the high education level of our young people and the appreciation of the high quality work of our scientists. That makes me wonder, isn't this the shining star we have been looking for? You, dear graduates, are making this university and also Estonia bigger. I have to admit, um, I actually wrote two speeches. The first one was kind of this traditional, a little bit cheesy, like follow your star and the life is going to be amazing. And the second one, which talks more about me and my own experiences. How a naughty girl who struggled with poor grades in elementary school, went after high school to university to become a doctor, and at the end of the day became a CFO of IT and telecom company. Sounds like a really well-planned career, isn't it? What I want to say, it's okay not to know 100% right now what you're gonna do with the rest of your life. It's a journey to find your real direction and your real passion. And please, don't get frustrated by the mistakes and setbacks because they happen to all of us. My advice to you so is that uh, please don't allow fear and also laziness to take over. I hope that you will never find yourself somewhere in the corner um, struggling and, and finding ex excuses like, um, I haven't had real luck in my life, and that is the reason why my hand is full of bad cards. In certain point of time, I think all of us have been, and probably you also will be, in the crossroad, where also tough decisions have to be made. But well, looking at you, you guys are so ahead of that game, probably you all know who you are and what you want to do. My own journey has been very much influenced uh, by the people around me. Good people and not so good people. You have got enormous amount of knowledge and you also have felt this nirvana of understanding in your journey in this university. And education and educational background, it's, it's really very, very crucial and important. But also in addition, in everyday life, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Without good relations, good connections, good vibes with your friends, families, colleagues, we as the human beings do not function right. On my business card is written CFO. But I would rather like to
to replace it with a title of people's person with financial knowledge. Listen to anyone with an original uh, idea. Disagree if you disagree. Don't whine, but argue. Work hard and use your capabilities to the max. If you feel that the ceiling is coming too close, so what the hell, smash it. William McKnight, um, former CEO of 3M, have, have said really wisely, if you put fences around the people, you get sheep. Don't let anybody to put fences around you. That said, I have just one more reflection, of course, from my own experience, my own life. I clearly can see, and I remember, you are really determined today. You have a clear plan about career and accomplishments in your vision. And I believe that um, many of you, especially girls, have decided to postpone the family plans, having children far into the future, while you finally will be successful. I started my master's studies here in Taltec University when I had four children at home. That was a challenge, I can't deny, but it was somehow possible because I wanted to study, I really wanted to broaden my knowledge. Now I understand when I'm looking back that actually I pushed myself much more due to my family. I wanted to be better because of my children. And seeing today who they are what, and what they have accomplished, I can say that I have got everything I truly wanted. And by the way, they're never going to be this kind of state that now I'm finally successful, especially for people who have this kind of perpetuum mobile inside, which drives them always to be better, go higher, have more knowledge. Tempus fungit, time, as you know, flies. The now is never going to be there forever. And finally, when you walk out of those doors today, you have actually only two choices to choose from. Embrace your, uh, embrace your talent with challenges or take the risk-free mediocre. The choice is yours, but before you go, please take out your phones, scan that code, and please join the alumni club. Good luck to you, and thank you for having me.